I did this on purpose. This was not an accident. I tilted over the Gaylord so that I could empty out the rest of the Gaylord because it's more important to me to get rid of the Gaylord box than it is to um, not spill it everywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to fill, I don't know, maybe like four boxes or so, the rest of the CDs, so I can start going through them. And then I'll be able to get rid of this Gaylord box, <clears throat> keep the pallet, and uh, I'll have to keep moving it around. So this is partly what I'm doing today. So I finished sorting through, or even just putting all of those CDs into the banker's boxes. And now, as you can see, I only have two Gaylords, I swear. The other one's gone. Only two, down from five. And if you remember from last year when I got five, that one is still full of CDs. This one is, I'm sorry, this one is full of CDs. As you can see, CDs, lots and lots of CDs. Um, this one just has boxes and whatnot. It's like a storage for me. And when I finish this one, I'll just have that one pallet that I'll move around. Boy. Um, so I finished going through all those. I mean, I finished putting them into boxes. Now, it turned out there were four and a half boxes worth. I'm only down to two. One, two. I went through the other two and a half boxes, which then, you know, helped me get more CDs together to put out for my store, etc., etc. Find some to list on eBay and whatnot. Um, just real quick, this looks like craziness, I know. But this is kind of playing into what I'm going to talk about. This is all CDs that are going to go into a lot. I'm going to sell locally. Um, try locally as well as have it on eBay. That one back there is all classical. It's going to be the same thing. This is all Asian language that I haven't gone through. This is all country country i'm getting because i find so many country cds what i'm doing is i'm keeping uh i'm keeping all of them it's for that uh, so that when i get to the end of that last gaylord i'll put together lots based on artist or group if i have enough if it's not worth it i'm just getting rid of them but if i have enough that those i'm not going to sell like country cd lot that's not that's not going to do as well but you know, whatever, whatever the country artist is. So anyway, that's what that is. I have, I have even more. I have another box that's got a bunch of country CDs in there as well. And then, of course, I have a giant country CD section over here, which barely gets touched. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raid that as well. And I'm going to get rid of most of it. Um, put together as many lots as I can once I get to that last Gaylord. Um, this is all stuff that's going to go in the store. This is all stuff that's going to go in the store in the store that's all comedy there was a bunch of stand-up comedy record or cds by a bunch of uh, similar art of the same artists i'm getting enough of those together see if there's any more in here anyway that's what all that craziness is um so i got through all those or i got through that gay lord thankfully because i was tired of moving it in, in, inside and out of the of the space every time i open obviously i've got to move the gay lords out i can't have them sitting there people trying to look at you know look at my inventory um, so then I'll get down to the one. Now, also tying into the theme of this video, which is essentially me sort of not starting, not, not going about business in a, well, going about business in a different way, uh, but essentially like cleaning up, getting rid of everything that I cannot resell immediately or, or list immediately on eBay or... Uh, put in my store, my my uh, my retail store. So basically, and I've talked about this before. You see, there's a bunch of CD piles of CDs. These are all organized by artist or group. Same over here by genre. That's what all of this stuff is. Um, these are all Harry Potter books. I sold some recently, actually. Someone asked for them. These are all sealed DVDs as well as sealed CDs. So all of this stuff. There's some VHS sealed VHS tapes as well. All of this stuff I'm, I'm accumulating with the goal of finishing that last CD Gaylord, which I know does not have DVDs in there, but while I'm accumulating for CDs, I'm also doing the same for DVDs because I always get new ones in, which I'll talk about. I just got those in. Oh, that's a DVD as well. Oh, that was from, that was from there. Um, and then, so once I finally, once I finish those CDs, then I am going to go through all of these CDs I have accumulated for the purposes of selling in lots on eBay and individually go through them to make sure to see if I have enough 
that enough to make it worth selling that looks like it's going to fall down okay i have to deal with that um selling on ebay and a lot like for instance i have look at all this alan jackson i don't know how many there are close 15 or so so i don't know if that's enough you know what is there one two three four five there's 18 alan jackson cds they should all be different yeah they should all be different titles 18 is that enough to be worth it to put it on ebay i don't know i have to check but i keep adding as i go through as i go through now there's a lot of duplicates that i come across so i don't you know, add constantly to it, but slowly. That's what th going through thousands of CDs will produce. This is this is from going through thousands, probably 10,000 CDs from those Gaylords, close to it, 8,000. Uh, by the end of it, it'll be probably 10,000 CDs that I've gone through. Uh, just that, just those five Gaylords. So if there's enough, you know, I've also got Garth Brooks. I've got, uh, who do I have a bunch of? Vince Gill is another one. Uh, Kenny Chesney. Mariah Carey, Celine Dion. So if I have enough for it to make sense to put it on in there as a lot, uh, you know, for it to sell, to move quickly, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll just get rid of them. I'll just pull the discs, put it in a loose CD disc, uh, lot. But I'm pretty confident that most of them will make sense because I have accumulated so many. Um, but I'm okay to get rid of the ones that don't. And then also, you know, so then I'll do the same thing with all the CD stacks over here, CD stacks over here. And I have a similar situation in the corner of the bathroom where I have hundreds of CDs that, that fall into like a set. So like Kids Bop, um, what is that called now? What is it called now? That's the one that says now and then music and it's got a number attached to it. I'm blanking on how you actually phrase it. Um, so stuff like that. Also, Lifescapes, if you've seen those, or it's a CD series. Reader's Digest, uh, Time Life CDs. You know, these are also similar. Those two are, 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 are collections that I'm accumulating. So all that stuff is going to be dealt with, and it's going to be basically clear cut. Either there's enough in there to sell on eBay, or I get rid of them, period. So that these are all gone, and I'll, I'll do the same thing with the DVDs. All the DVD stacks, these are all classic ones. These are all action. I'm planning on selling those as a big lot. Uh, yeah. And so that's the plan. Um, and while I'm doing that, it's sort of reorganizing the space. Like all of this is, is, is back stock for my store, all DVDs. But I also have DVDs here um, that I have to organize and whatnot. They're somewhat organized. And this is all eBay stuff. So, you know, I keep I keep more stuff here that I'm gonna put out in the store. So it's basically like clearing out everything that I can sell, list and then sell on eBay, and then just reorganizing and making it clean. This is all before, I mean, you know, after I go through this Gaylord, do this whole process that'll take a while. And then, um, and then I'm gonna make a decision about how I'm gonna go about continuing to get inventory. So, that plays right into what I was gonna talk about as well as all this, because I keep getting inventory either as donations, which is all of this, bag, box, 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 that's all donations. This is a trade, there's three, there's a donation, there's a trade, and there's a buy and a buy. So as an example of everything, this all came in today. Because I've been here long enough, because people know about me, um, they bring me stuff, right, which I talk about, so that's the benefit. Uh, you know, there's some good books in here, which is why I paid for them. I'm gonna sell, most of the books will be sold in the stores, my two stores, not online. There wasn't anything that was like hugely profitable online, but there's some good stuff like this Moby Dick is really good. This one here, let's see, Foucault is good. This one is priced high. And Rice of Empire Chronicles, this one's really cool. Dracula and other horror classics with the silver page edges or some really good stuff in here as well. So I paid for those, was willing to do that. Also, it's about building a reputation for get, you know paying people for when they have good stuff versus if someone like this stuff I wouldn't have paid for because it's not, um, it's not so great so far from what I see. Um, but anyway, so, you know, the idea is that as I, I gotta finish the video, my, I'm gonna lose, it's gonna cut out here. So, 
So basically, yeah, once I go through all the gay lords and get through all that, you know, then I'm going to get to a place where all I'm going to be in new inventory is just going to be coming in, uh, everything that comes in through the door. And so I'm going to have to make a decision. Do I, am I going to go the gay lord route? Uh, am I not going to do that? What am I going to do? Um, I've talked about in the past, you know, going mixed media. That was my plan. We'll see. I have a couple options. Um, but that's still going to be a few months down the road as I get through all the CDs. But nonetheless, it's been a good day. All right, guys. I'll see you next video. Take care.